Okay, what we're going to work on today is the mid or intermediate stage rehab for both MCL and LCL injuries. So your medial collateral ligament on the inside of your knee here and your lateral collateral ligament on the outside of the knee. And you might think, are oh, they two different injuries, Tim? Yes, but the rehab is very, very similar and you can apply the rehab to both because what we're trying to achieve is stability of the knee. Okay, so this is not the acute phase when you've gone and torn it. All right, so you've got an acute tear and you might be taped up. This is not the advanced stage where you return to sport. It's that stuff in between that you need to work on medial lateral stability for both those injuries. So we're going to apply a lot of sort of medial lateral forces to knee work. And I'll show you what I mean with these ones. So we always want people doing a single leg squat when we've got knee injuries. So meaning if you're doing a step down, we're not doing that way. Now, once they can achieve that, that's fine. Usually what will happen is you won't feel your medial ligament or your lateral ligament problems when you're in a straight line. It's when you start changing direction or putting a lateral medial force. So what you need to do with a step down is apply that force. Now, I'd always go this on the outside. Okay? You might think, okay, well, that's only going to affect one way. But we want to stop the knee with both the medial and the lateral side. We want to stop the knee going inwards, not so much outwards. So this needs to go on the outside of the knee. And I'll try and keep it above the knee. All right? You don't really want it down here. It can run into fibular problems down here with that common peroneal nerve. You really don't want it on the inside of that knee because it sort of bends around the kneecap. Have it on the top. Okay. Now this is providing a force that pulls my knee immediately. We call it sort of a lateral band, if you like. So that force there helps guide me and stops me rolling in to keep me in line. It's also providing a shear force for me to strengthen up these ligaments here. Okay, so from that step down that you're doing, which is your single leg squat, you're going to aim for this movement here where you step down and back. And this back lead, of course, has hardly any weight through it. You're trying to keep weight bearing down. Now, the thing about this is I want to weight bear down through the joint to strengthen up either side, strengthen up those ligaments. So if I'm stepping off it and taking weight off it, I'm not going to strengthen it up, all right? And the other thing too, if this band is too tight and I do this, it's not going to help. You're going to hurt it that way, okay? So this is all about can I improve my stability around the knee by giving that a lateral force like that, stepping down, stepping back, and keeping that tracking beautifully in line, middle of the kneecap, middle of the foot, try and also keep the knee in the line of the hip. So that's the sort of first one you've got to think of. When you're doing medial or lateral ligament tears, always have that band going that way because you're trying to gain stability. Don't worry about all oh, the ligaments on the outside and inside. It's about keeping your legs stable with both those injuries, okay? Now, second thing you do, if you're going to advance from stepping down, you want to be stepping up. Now, if you imagine we have a box that is a little bit higher, we want to get your lateral step up correct, okay? So you're going to try and now do a loading force with direction. So if this is my bad knee, so again, whether it's a lateral ligament problem or a medial ligament problem, what we're going to try and do is move over on it, challenge it, and step up onto it, and then down again. Now, you'll find most people, when they go over onto it, they roll their leg in. All right? So you've got to think the whole idea of this is stability. So if you move your body over and get the weight bearing over the foot, and what I like to do is think about taking weight out of, say, my left leg, I'm going to shift it into my right before I even step off here, okay? So if I get my knee over my foot and not facing out that way, okay? Knee over my foot and then try and get my hip over my knee, okay? So I'm not trying to step up from this angle and screw in. I actually want to get over and then load it from there. So I'm loading down straight down through the joints. So it's nice and safe, those ligaments. But we're trying to challenge your medial and lateral ligament integrity when we push up Hold it, and then when you come down, try and do the exact opposite. What you don't want to do is when you come off and sort of roll inwards, again, stresses it out, all right? So think of not rolling out, not rolling in. It's quite difficult, but you're adding load. And this one here is not how to push off. I almost make it lighter. See, I've raised my heel. 
then I'm going to drive up and down, okay? Your body weight alone is going to be enough for that, okay? You don't need heaps of weight for ligament repair and ligament strengthening, okay? The weight stuff's for getting your quads and hammies and glutes stronger and bigger, okay, and string up the joint, but you don't need lots and lots of weight with this. So unloaded work, the deeper you go, the harder it is, okay? It's going to be absolutely fine for trying to get that mid-intermediate stage rehab done. Of course, the loading is going to come on when you start jumping and sidestepping down the track for the advanced stage, but for now, don't worry about strengthening the ligament with weights, okay? Think about your body weight doing the job. So once you've done that one, then we need to start looking at something a little bit harder. We want to move to something unstable, okay? So this box is stable. Then we go, okay, how do we challenge ourselves? Let's go unstable. Take that box away. And what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is a sidestep. Now, with you, when, you, when you start off, you want to start off with something that's an unstable surface. BOSUs are great, okay? Nice soft BOSU. You're going to step on, step off this. In the advanced stage, you're going to actually jump on this, okay? And that will lead you into sidestepping, change direction, that sort of thing. So this BOSU here, what I want to do is be able to learn how to sidestep, okay? So I want to aim for about the middle of that sort of in between the middle of this and the top of that. So the middle section there, well, your foot's going to be in the middle of the top and halfway up. Okay, I don't want to be right down the bottom because I'm going to roll my foot in, roll my knee in. I don't want to be actually on the top because I tend to roll outwards, which stresses you out here, right? So just in that position there. And what you're going to do is try and squat on and squat off. So squat on and squat off. Quite a reasonably quick movement. It's a lot sort of faster than what you do with the box because there's sort of less load going on there but it's wobbly, so you've got to go slow with it. So from there, same rules apply. Get my knee looking over my foot. I want to try and get my hip over. Step up, step off, okay? So now the challenge is this here, okay? Can you can see when I rotate my foot, you can see what my knee's doing, right? It's pretty hard to keep my knee in line if my foot's wobbling. So this is now teaching me, if I've got a wobbly surface, which is, hey, what sport is like, if I've got a wobbly surface, I need to control that. And so some of your knee control for your medial lateral ligaments is about your foot control. Okay, it's trying to get your brain, and people say, oh, it's my balance. It's probably your brain, your neuromuscular control of your foot, okay, is just as important as your bum muscle right here controlling your knee. So from here, I can't afford to let my foot do that. So this is actually training me a stable platform, getting better at locking up that ankle and keeping it nice and stable to keep my knee happy in an environment that doesn't roll in or roll out, all right? Whereas before in the box, I had a stable environment for that foot. I wasn't learning any foot stability. Now I have to, okay? So that's really nice. Like I said, that's going to transition into jumping on, jumping off, okay? Then the last one in this intermediate stage is actually learning how to hop medially and laterally. Of course, with all, you know, these are just four exercises, right? In a program, we get people doing like eight or 10 exercises over the course of a week. So there's lots of other stuff. This is just showcasing four of them and it's one of the most important ones you need to get right. So here we have what, I, what I've done before. This one is what I prepared earlier, I should say. The middle line is what you're gonna start hopping over first. Okay, this is, you're gonna have one foot hopping over and trying to learn how to hop medium laterally. Okay, so think of MCL, LCL. When you get good at that, you progress. This line here is 20 centimeters apart. You're gonna learn how to try and jump over from that one to that one and back, and the last one's 40 centimeters. The 40 centimeter mark is your return to sport testing, okay? So once you get to 40 centimeters, you're into the advanced stage. So we're gonna think of, when you're in the intermediate stage, you can think of just learning how to hop over this one, and then you maybe progress over weeks to get to 20 centimeters. But you'd leave the 40 centimeter hop test for the advanced stage. So, what do I mean by that? Think of the first line, okay? You're gonna say this is my injured leg. You're gonna try and learn how to hop over once and back. There's one, okay? So you're just trying to link those two together. So, okay, kind of go bang, bang, all right? As you get better, you'll start <clears throat> stringing those together. So you're learning a bit of a rhythm where you're going over and back, 
okay? Trying to keep as even as you can and not being all over the shop, all right? Part of your strengthening is making sure you're getting very accurate with this so you're not sort of going too far out. You're not having a foot going this way, this way, that's the thing. You're keeping in line. So you're also, you're training strengthening and stability. You're also training technique and control, all right? So once you've learned how to do this sort of thing, okay, and you're getting more successful at that, you think, well, where do I need to go with it? You need to be as good as your other leg. Okay, that's your progression is what, how, how do I, what's my benchmark? Your other leg, as long as that's not injured. So then you go, okay, 20 centimeters. So you go to think, I've got to be on the outside. So the, the edge of this is 20 centimeters, okay, from the edge to the edge. I don't want to hit the line, okay? So you've got to clear the line like that and not hit it, all right? And if you can work on sets of that, you might end up doing maybe 10 reps, 20 reps, 30 reps, whatever you can do inside 30 seconds. I wouldn't go longer than 30 seconds because, hey, the 40 centimeter test is 30 seconds anyway. So try and think of, I'm just hopping for 30 seconds and maybe doing the three or four sets of that. That is it for that session, okay, as far as hopping goes. And then next time you're gonna kind of try and go wider and wider and wider ever as the weeks go on to eventually you get to this point here over a period of weeks, okay? So there's my four, MCL, LCL, it doesn't matter ligament injury you've got you still need to work on the same stability control mechanisms same stability control exercises you do for both there's four that you must get right see you next time